Welcome to Alloway Parish Church. Let us worship God together. We sing our first hymn by Cool Siloam, Shady Rill. reading this morning is taken from the New Testament, Mark chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. The little children and Jesus. People were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. 
When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. Amen, and thanks be to God for this reading from his holy word. What a wonderful thing to remember. The time when Jesus was weary and a little bit worn and the people kept coming and the mothers wanted to bring their children uh, to be blessed by this carpenter of Nazareth. The disciples could see Jesus was tired. They stopped them, but Jesus told them, suffer the children to come unto me, forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he put them in his arms and he blessed them. Can I say one of the great privileges of being a minister in the church is that sometimes you are called either to baptize, sometimes to bless, and in fact, sometimes to do both. I've baptized infants in hospital, I'm just hours old. I've baptized people in their 80s. It is a sign of belonging. But at baptisms and blessings, strange things can happen. Uh, one of my friends told me the story of when he was doing a baptism and a big brother was watching as a little brother was being baptized by the minister in front of the congregation. The minister said, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost at which point the big brother looked at his mum and dad and said, did he say ghost? Last week, observing all the protocols on Mothering Sunday here in Alloway Church, there was a very small gathering of people. It was meant, of course, as you'll remember, to be a bigger day. And yet, even although it was a very small gathering, it seemed to me to be very, very poignant. A little girl, Rose, was baptised and received a blessing from the church. Rose is a much-loved daughter and she has a great start in life. She has a mum and a dad and family and friends who already encircle her with love and care. And she has a church where forever she will be most welcome. How did we welcome Rose into the church? Well, I used water, of course, the sign of life. Jesus said he was the living water. And with the water, I made the sign of the cross on Rose's forehead. The cross still is a sign of hope and love, a love which is stronger than death. And we presented to Rose a Bible God's guiding word. Someone once said, basic information before leaving earth. But here is the other thing that we did at the baptism of Rose. I said a special blessing. Not just any blessing. It is a blessing that's normally sung by the congregation, but I said it over Rose. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Why does that prayer move me so much? Because it is very, very old. It is in fact a blessing which was given to Aaron by God for the people as they journeyed in the wilderness, having left Egypt towards the promised land. If you've read the account of that journey, you'll understand it was a very, very testing time. The journey took much longer than they thought. People nearly gave up hope, wanted to turn back. But on that journey, they would learn about themselves. They would learn too of God. And although they were tested, amidst that testing, they would be blessed. So God gave Aaron the words, which we still use 
in the church today. As for that wilderness people, despite these struggles, they made it. Personally, I've believed for a long time that we need God's blessing in our lives. There's a a presence, I would say, a person who's only a prayer away, who can come and lift us when our resources of hope and faith are done. Someone who can come by our side, not to take our burden from us, but to share it with us. Rose not only got baptised, she got a blessing. And I know there may be people out there for whom these ancient symbols mean nothing. And I respect these people. But to everyone can I suggest this is a time when we all need to become blessings to others. There are people in your life and in my life that we need to bless today. Amidst all the sadness and tragedy we're hearing about, last week I I was moved by a little call I heard on the radio. It was a mother who phoned in and she said this to the presenter, I just want you to know that after 20 years, my son phoned me yesterday. A son blessing a mother with a phone call. This is a precious time for us all. This is the time for us to be a blessing to others. And when we are a blessing to others, I believe we are blessed by God. He took the children in his arms and he blessed them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you travelled through towns and villages. You welcomed children. You cured illness and disease. Come to our aid now in the midst of this pandemic. May we know your healing love. Heal those who are sick, we pray, with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear which prevents nations from working together, neighbours from helping each other. Heal us from our pride, a pride that thinks we can live life only in our own wisdom and with our own resources. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and great sorrow. Be with the families of those who are sick or have lost loved ones. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. Be with the doctors, nurses, NHS staff, researchers, all who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Inspire the countless volunteers seeking to care with compassion for your people. Lord Jesus, bless and strengthen us as we seek to endure, mourn, persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your spirit that we might become a blessing to others. And in Alloway again, we pray for your blessing on all our residents. We think of our young people sent home from schools, colleges, universities, Bless especially staff and pupils of Dunfoot Primary, Alloway Primary. We think of the nursing homes in our parish and beyond, staff and residents at Redford, Roselle, Craig and Ban. And hear now the silent petitions of your people. And please join me now, if you can, as we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We close our service together by singing, The church is wherever God's people are praising. Let us say the grace together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.